Hello, Libra viewers. So let's see what's going on with your situation. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, what they're wanting with you, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. So let's just see what the cards have to say. So for the Libras that are drawn to this video, for the usual group of Libras that I channel, what is going on with, oh, okay, those just like flew out. So I guess, do these ones want to come out? Yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess this must be, okay, because these just flew out, so they must mean something. Let's see what's going on. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement, divine intervention and synchronicity, waiting, hoping, praying, loyalty, stability, vows, nostalgia, and longing, domination, and control, publicity, and social media. So I think this is just like a quick message for some of you, because those just like, I mean, they were on the top and they just kind of flew down when I was trying to pull them. So let's see. So I feel like this is a third party energy. So this is just for those of you that are in a third party situation. Some of you might not be. This is just a quick message that wanted to come out for those of you that are though. Um, so the divine is pushing your person to have courage and to be assertive and, you know, make this forward movement towards you to really get out of this karmic situation that they've been stuck in and come towards you. It feels like a back and forth energy here. Like they come towards you and then the karmic is just so dominant. They pull them back in. Because here we have waiting, hoping, and praying, and it's like you've been praying for this, and they've been praying for this too. Like they want this new start with you. They want this new life with you. It's like you've just been kind of waiting on them. It's like this longing, like, look, she's got her glass of wine. She's looking out the window. She's just trying to stay in her power, but she's also lonely and just waiting for this situation to finally come, come in. And, you know, I think the divine just wanted to pop up to say they are intervening. They are doing all they can to push your person forward, to give them this, this courage to be strong and assertive and get themselves out of this karmic situation. But it is tricky. There is a lot of back and forth energy. It's like they are, they are loyal to you in their heart. Like they want this stability with you. They want to make these promises to you. They want to get into this courageous energy and they are trying to, like your prayers really are being heard. Um, but then it's like they seem like they're being dominated or controlled by someone. And a third party energy does not always have to necessarily mean a, um, a person. A third party energy could be, it could be their own fears. It could be, it, it will, I mean, it, would, it could be their own fears, but it'd have to be to a pretty strong degree. Um, it, their own fears, their own insecurities, their, you know, family, jobs, just any third party energy that keeps separating you guys. It's like they're kind of being controlled. They're kind of being. You know, it's like they're nostalgic for you. They're longing for you. They do have this, this desire to be with you, but it's like they're seeing it as something that's dead. They're seeing it as something that's, you see how she's reaching out to this, this stone figure. It's like they're seeing it as something that they just can't touch and can't hold and can't feel, even though they really want to. You know, they have this other energy around them that's just kind of dominating them and controlling them. And it could be, let me, I'll pull some cards to see what that is. So it's like they, they do want this new start with you. I think the divine just wanted to pop up to say, like, we are working on your person. It's just kind of tricky. It's, it's, it is some back and forth energy here. Um, they are stalking your social media. They are wanting to talk to you. They're just, they need to get, they need to stop dreaming. It's like they feel nostalgic and they have it's like you guys are both praying and waiting for each other and it's like someone needs to make that move, you know? Um, can we look into, let's see, oops, I turned some of these around, I didn't mean to. Um, okay, what is this, this dominant controlling energy that we have here, this third party energy, what is it that they're being dominated by? What are they being dominated by? What do we need to know about that? Okay. 
Isolation, loneliness, emptiness, yeah. Just their, like, for some of you, it's just their own fear. It's just overthinking things. It's, let's see, let's see what the cards say. So we got isolation, loneliness, emptiness, we got fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events, and then we have sense of belonging, home, and safe space. For some, it's like if they have been in a karmic situation, it's like the karmic knows how they feel about you. So they're isolating them from you. They're trying to keep you guys apart. And, you know, your person is feeling alone and confused and empty and just not knowing what to do and not knowing how to have this new start. I think it's just this read, this spread is basically just your guides letting you know, like they are working on your person. I think sometimes you pray about it and you feel like your prayers aren't being heard, but they want you to know your prayers really are being heard. It's just they can only do so much just a very they can only do so much without affecting free will you know it's just it's a very tricky situation but i do see fast moving energy coming in here so oh yeah so okay so isolation and loneliness here for some it's like actually a person that's separating you guys but for others it could just be like a work situation that's separating you guys um it could be their own fears and their own self-sabotage and their own negativity and maybe if you guys had issues in the past, they might be like afraid for those of you that have had issues with them before. Maybe they're afraid that those issues would come back up again. But I feel like this is like a tower moment here. This is like divine intervention. This is a sudden turn of events. You know, this could be chaotic. It's, it's very fast moving energy. So it's like their guides are going to push them more and more. Like your prayers are being heard. They're going to push them more and more to come forward to you to to you know you're their their the sense of belonging your their safe space their home that's that's with you and so their guys are going to push them more and more to to finally just get it together and come forward what actions are your is your person likely to take towards you over the next couple of weeks or so like what action what are they most likely to do regarding your connection over the next couple of weeks. Like what is what's gonna happen with that most likely? Let's see. What is the most likely action your person will be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks? Yeah, here we have ugh. <laughs> Here we have toxicity, red flags, and motives, and third-party distraction, karmic partner. So yeah, there is still that distraction there. Um, for some of you, it could be, it could, for some of you, the third-party, your person's third-party distraction is finances and career and just trying to be better themselves for you, trying to you know get their finances in order before they come forward trying to be right for you and then for others the third party is actually a person that's trying to separate you guys we have a hesitation mixed feelings overthinking over analyzing self-sabotage so i did get that energy before where it's like they're just kind of in their head they're afraid they're they are longing for you like they do feel nostalgic for you they are really missing you they are feeling vulnerable with you right now they really are in a vulnerable space when it comes to you they are thinking about you they're just having such a hard time taking that leap of faith and having the courage to come forward and i think your guides are working on them because for some of them they might have things that they need to heal for some of them it might not necessarily even be that they're with a karmic partner right now but it could be that a karmic partner in the past has done a lot of damage to them and that they are not really over that damage and that fear of trusting a new person and opening their heart again. And I think that they know with you, it's like there would be a real commitment. They would have something real with you. They would have that, that kind of love they want with you. And there might just be some, some damage left over by the karmic though, just this fear of getting their heart broken again this fear of, um, of losing someone they love again. For some of them, I feel, for some of them, I feel like there might have been like a death or something, like they lost, like someone they loved died and they never got over it and their guides are working with them right now to heal that pain and trauma. So 
I think it's just kind of this message, like, if you don't see a lot going on in the physical world, it's because the, your guides and their guides are working together behind the scenes to really help your person heal, to help them release the karmic situation, um, talk, this toxic person, whether it's someone from the past or someone from the present, um, you know, situations that they need to cut and clear, just traumas, pain. Um, they're kind of going through almost like a dark night of the soul, like doing some shadow work for a lot of them, it feels like. Um, and, and so that's, you know, if you're not hearing a lot from them and you're wondering what's going on, why, why it's, it's like this kind of impatient feeling I get from some of you. It's like, why are we not talking right now? Um, and your guides are just really working on them behind the scenes to help them purge and cleanse and heal and help them release any blocks that they have to love so that they can come back to you stronger and more assertive. Because I get a very timid energy from them. I get a very like, like very afraid of getting hurt, very afraid of taking new chances, maybe some control issues with them. Maybe like they, they want to be the one in control because they're so afraid of letting go of control. They're so afraid of letting their guard down. They're so afraid of getting hurt and being betrayed. They're afraid of losing people. They're afraid. They're just so afraid of getting hurt. And it just complicates things because they get, they overthink and they overanalyze and self-sabotage and get stuck in their head. And then it's like, they don't make any effort. It's like, so they have this hesitation, these mixed feelings that they're trying to work through. There's just so much going on in their head. There's so much like, like back and forth, unstable energy when it comes to them. But again, it's like your guides are, you know, your guides popped up again here. <laughs> To, again, divine intervention, synchronicity, and we have chaser, chasey, and power struggle here. So I really feel like it's saying that your guides are, you know, they just want you to know. Because I feel like, again, I feel like some of you, like, just feel like your prayers are not being heard. You feel like just alone. You feel neglected. You feel like, like, I was led to this person. Like, my guides told me this was my true love. Why are they not? Why are we not talking? Why are they being distant? Why don't they let me in? And your guides are just like, they just want to come through strong and just tell you like they, they have to work on your person. They really do. It's, it's not their fault. Like if they could just snap their fingers and have you two to be together right now, they totally would. But your person is just so damaged and they're so afraid of love and they're so afraid of taking a risk and getting hurt and they have to get past this third party distraction. Again, whether this is a work situation or a person from their past or their present or, or multiple situations even, just there's a lot of healing that they have to do. There's a lot of blocks that they have. They have chakra blocks, they have throat chakra blocks particularly, root chakra blocks probably, um, pessimism, negative thinking, um, just getting stuck in their head, maybe some mental illness with some of them, uh, just a lot of trauma, a lot of damage. I do feel, I get this sense of like, I don't know why rape is coming up now, but I, I'm getting, I hear rape for some of them. Um, and there's death too. Death keeps coming up, but not, not like not, not current or present or anything like that, but in the past, like they, they, someone they love died and they never healed from it. And so their guides are just really working one-on-one -on -one with your person right now to do the shadow work, to do the purging and cleansing and healing. And your person is so stubborn. So it's, it takes, it, your guides are really working on this, but it takes a lot of push on their end to, to it, it's taken a lot of push on your guides and to um, get your person to finally purge and heal and allow themselves to feel because I think before they tried to, to drink or do drugs or numb the pain or they tried to just survive and tell everyone they were okay and everything's fine and now they're being forced to actually do the work, the shadow work, the dark night of the soul, the purging, the healing, going inward, meditating possibly for some of them. Um, it's 1444, 1444 into the video, so 444, angel number. Um, you know, they, they just, they really had, they've had, your guides have had to push them harder and harder and harder over the months, possibly even over the years for some of you, 
to, to finally get them to face their inner demons and to do the inner work and to, to heal and purge. And, and they have to do that before you guys can be together because if they came in right now how they are, I think that they would run again. And I think that they would sabotage it. Or I think that some of them might actually treat you like crap. Like they would, they would just have anxiety. Like they wouldn't understand the relationship. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be ready for you and it would be bad. And if this is a potential, if this is like a soulmate, it's like your guys want to make sure you guys do this right. They don't want them to come back and have it be explosive and have you guys fight or, or have them not be ready for you and have them run from you and hurt you. Like they want to make sure that they're actually ready for you because they want to protect your feelings as much as possible. So, you know, please know that your guides are working on this situation and please show your guides gratitude too, because I, I think that, um, I think that helps, you know, it really does help to just show gratitude for all they're doing. Even if you can't always see what they're doing, even if the results aren't always physically obvious right away, they are working a lot behind the scenes. So just know that. And they are, you know, again, this person likes to, is making, you know, it would be a power struggle if they came in now. It's like this chaser chase chasey game and your guides are coming in and showing them, hey, it doesn't have to be a game. It doesn't have to be a power struggle. You don't have to control and survive and manipulate. Like you got to let go of that energy if you want true love. So they're really working on them right now, you know, and your prayers are being heard. And I do feel like your person is, once they've done this healing, they are going to come through. They're just going to choose their words wisely and they're going to plan their approach carefully um i feel like this is for you too it's saying if you guys talk you need to choose your words wisely and carefully like don't overwhelm them but don't make them think you don't care either don't make it like a power struggle like a game you know what i mean like don't feed in if they're playing games don't feed into it you know um so choose your words wisely choose your energy around them wisely like don't overwhelm them but don't let them do whatever they want either it's like finding that good that just that right balance basically um so yeah that's that's over the next couple of weeks just just a lot going on behind the scenes but it is really positive again this, your person has been delaying the healing process for a really long time and now they're having these tower moments where they're basically just being forced to heal they're being forced to look at their shit and to look at how they treated you and how they treated other people in their lives and and they're just they're they're having to face themselves finally so it really is good for your connection in the long term and it's good for them on a soul level they really are finally um healing and getting it together so let's get some final messages do we have anything else we want to say here about this connection And I, I just made both these decks, and I do sell these decks as well. If you're interested, just email me. And if you want me to look more into your situation, I can go more in depth into, you know, the healing process they're going through, the, you know, what action they might be taking towards you, whatever you want to know. Um, I do do private readings as well. So my email address is below in the um, <coughs> description section. Description section, sorry. Yeah, definitely chalk or blocks with some of these people, for sure. Um, I don't know why I'm shuffling those. <laughs> you came on strong, I wasn't ready for it. So yeah, it's kind of like a warning, like don't... It's like this person is just, they're so afraid of getting hurt, so it's like don't overwhelm them. But don't let them neglect you or treat you like shit either. It's like you really have to find that good balance. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, you came on strong. I just, I wasn't, they just weren't quite ready for that energy. And they're, they're getting ready now. They're healing now and they're purging now so that they are actually capable of a healthy relationship. They're not capable of a healthy relationship right now. So they gotta, they gotta do the work first. I'm aware we're telepathically communicating. We have a deep spiritual bond. So there, again, and there's a lot going on behind the scenes um, in dreams, in the psychic realm, uh, in the 5D. There's just there's a lot going on telepathically between you guys. And so I think consciously you're like, where's my person? Where's my person? I'm sick of this. You're in, you're feeling impatient. You're feeling tired and exhausted of this. And you know, if you need to let this person go, then let them go. You know. 
Because you need to do what's right for you, even if it means you have to let this person go. Like, you need to put yourself first and put your healing first and put your happiness first. If they keep going in circles, you know, this person is very stubborn. It has taken a long time for them to finally get to the point where they're just ready to heal finally. They're finally having those breakdowns now and doing the healing work. Um, and so, yeah, a lot going on behind the scenes. A lot of, uh, I think you're like, your souls are aware. It's like you're feeling impatient, but like on a soul level, it's like you kind of, your higher self knows what's going on. Your higher self is like, okay, this has to happen this way. It's like divine timing. It's just, you, you, you have this awareness of why, you'll, have, you'll look back and you'll have this awareness of why things had to happen the way that they did. It will all just make sense in the future. I lied to myself and tried to convince myself it was best for us to go our separate ways. So yeah, for some of you, not all of you, but for a lot of you, I feel like you actually have been with this person before. Like this might be an ex. And I think they hurt you before. And if they were to come back around right now, they would just do the same shit over and over again. And so your guides are wanting to make sure that that pattern is broken on both ends so that when they do come back, they actually commit and give you a stable offer and they don't just ghost you or treat you like crap or, or just hurt you again, you know? Um, you're my safe space, my frequent daydream. Sometimes it feels easier to just live in this imaginary world I've created in my head. So again, a lot going on behind the scenes, a lot of dreaming, fantasies, longing for you. Um, I'm returning. I want to be with you now. Like they are wanting to be with you. Their guides are just making sure that both of you take it slow so that because they have to heal first again. There's no one like you. I realize now that I won't be able to find a love like ours with somebody else. So they're starting to not take you for granted finally. So it's really good. I'm afraid of getting hurt, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith for you. So yeah, they do still have that fear that they're working through, but they do... They are getting ready, you know, their, their guides are pushing them and getting them ready and healing them. I've been spying on you. I observe and notice every little thing about you. I read your social media posts. So again, this is somebody who is like, whether the third party is past or current, there's third party energy. So like I said, it might not necessarily be that they're with the third party still, but it's there's still that energy there, you know, that they haven't healed from. There's still a lot that they haven't healed from that they've been too stubborn to heal from. And now they're finally starting to let go of that stubbornness and allow themselves to heal. But they're still just kind of stalking you. It's like they're still not, like they're thinking about you, they're missing you, they're nostalgic, but they're still not quite coming forward. Again, they still just, there's still just a lot going on behind the scenes. Everything, it just has to, everything has to fall into place, you know? I feel you pulling away from me. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. See, I do kind of feel like this person might have a pattern, too, of taking you for granted when they have you. And I think your guides are working with them on that because it's like they have these, like, deep-seated fears and deep-seated commitment issues. So it's like once they have a healthy, stable relationship, they don't know what to do with it. And they make it toxic. They make it a power struggle when it doesn't need to be. They create drama that's not even there. Um and it's like your guides don't want them to just want you when they can't have you. They want them to, to be open to a healthy relationship and not need to create drama and create problems. So I think they're, they're working with them on breaking those patterns. Uh, you come off as uninterested and detached. Hmm. That's only for a couple of you, I think. But I think, again, just find that balance. Just find that balance, you know. Um, showing interest, but not giving into their games, either, if they're playing games. So, so yeah, that's where we're at now. Just just a lot going on behind the scenes. I, you know, I know it sucks having to be patient. But, again, it's your choice. If you feel like it's time to let go, then maybe just, just do that. There's always other soulmates that you can be happy with if this situation just keeps going in circles and circles. Because I do get a bit of a, I don't know if I'd say like a toxic energy. Like I feel like they're a good person deep down, but I just feel like they have some really negative tendencies, you know? They have some drama and some just tendencies to just sabotage things that don't need to be sabotaged. So really think about if you want to keep dealing with that. 
But if you do, you know, your guides, your guides are listening to you. So whatever you pray for, they're listening to you. If you pray for this person to come back, they're, they're working on them hard. If you say, you know, I'm done with this, I want someone new, your guides are going to focus on that. They're going to focus on bringing you something new. So just talk to your guides, let them know what you want, and show them gratitude. Really show them gratitude. Thank them for all they're doing in your life because they really are doing so much for you right now, and they really are answering your prayers right now. So even if it hasn't manifested overnight, you still it really helps a lot to show them that gratitude, just to let them know that you are aware that there's so much going on behind the scenes and just trust the process trust that it's all gonna make sense in the future um yeah thank you guys for watching let me know if it resonates